So can, can we just start by talking about the, the attitude and the atmosphere in the locker room this week as you uh, prepare for uh, a must-win game? Yeah, uh, I think, to be honest, after uh, the win last year and stuff, you know, I think everyone's like, I'm not going to say used to, to the playoff feeling, you know, but everyone's kind of uh, ready for it more than anything, you know. So there's a lot more relaxed feeling than last year, whereas last year everyone's kind of pent up and really – like nervous with the result in the game, but everyone's kind of kind of just ready for it now, you know, and just excited more than anything and looking ready. It's going to be a battle tomorrow night, but as I say, everyone's ready and they're they're looking to have a good game in Columbus. And I think we can we can come up with a win. Do you think the the weather is going to be any sort of factor? I, I heard you guys got quite a bit of snow. Is that going to be a factor at all in the game? Yeah, it was crazy today. We got like twelve inches of snow overnight, literally. I think. To be honest, it's gonna it's gonna blow over by tomorrow. You know, the grounds have done a great job today in the pitch, and it's clear already. You know, it, it will be cold tomorrow night for sure. But I think Columbus being from the east coast as well at this time, we'll, we'll be used to that as well. So there'll be no snow. So I think, to be honest, it won't be that much of a factor. Okay. Uh, as a defender, can you talk a little bit about the the Rapids' defense? And it looks like you'll you'll be facing a, a pretty upbeat uh, Columbus attack. Can you talk just a little bit about your defense? Yeah, sure. Um, I feel like the the defense is probably it's crazy, but it's been the most changed part of the team the whole year. You know, the the manager just seems to to want to try different things. Kind of every not every other week, but like quite quite like uh, frequently throughout the season. So it's been kind of tough to get to get a st- steady back four and really kind of work with each other. You know, but I mean that's what the manager wants to do. We've got some great results with the teams that we've put out. You know, so I think the lads are going to play tomorrow night. They're they're a good experienced group. You know, obviously most of them except for Tyrone won the won the, the cup last year, so they've been a long way, you know, they played with each other, didn't know how, how they play, and Columbus are obviously a good team, they pose some, some real big threats up top and stuff, but I think if the boys, uh, if they're up to the game and they, they play to their best, I think they, we can hold them out, not, it's not saying it's going to be easy, it will be very tough, but I think we can we can do a good job and hold them out, hopefully. Um, talking a little bit about the Colorado attack, uh, what kind of impact do you think Omar Cummings and uh, Jeff Laurentowitz are going to have? Uh, for me personally, when Omar's on, on form, he's the best friend of the league, hands down. Even playing with him last year, I've said it, I've said it all the way through this year as well. You know, he just needs needs to be given the confidence and kind of a role to, to kind of go get the ball and, and cause teams problems, you know. I think when he's on form, he can cause the best defenders in the world, I'm saying, on, on his day at troubles, you know. So, as I say, I think, yeah, he, he's, if he's on form tomorrow night, that's going to cause big problems for Columbus. And then Jeff's been, Jeff's obviously been, Jeff, <laughs> that's all you say, you know, he's, He's never put a foot out of place off season, you know. He's like he stepped in there with Captain Zamba in last game, got the result, got a goal, and he's been a top scorer this year. So he's come up trumps, you know. He's this year. He's, he's been probably yeah, our best player this year, I think. So um, yeah, definitely, he's he's a great player for us to have, and I think he's even his demeanor around the place. He's nice and calm, relaxed, you know. It kind of spreads throughout the whole team. So if the two of those boys and obviously Stana and and those guys can get it on the attack in front, I think we've got a great chance of taking the game to them. Especially at home as well. I think it's, it's a tough place to play against us, and yeah, we're, the boys are looking forward to it. What kind of advantage is it to, to play at home at uh, Dick Sporting Goods Park, considering it's a, a basically a one and done sort of deal? It's a must win game for, for either side. What kind of advantage is that to, to have that uh, in your corner? I think it's absolutely massive, to be honest. You know, as you say, it's a one off, it's like a cup final in itself, you know, but and anything can happen. But to have the home advantage just. It takes it, everything out, uh, like the stressful elements out, you know, the travel, not eat, staying in your right bed, not staying, like eating the right foods, whatever, you know. It, it takes everything that out. You can just have a nice, relaxed day before the game. And obviously, I think we're a top, top team at home. We just, it seems to, we know how to play at ditch, you know. It's, I don't know, it's been good to us. And I think everyone's just excited to play. And I think the fans are going to turn out, like, even though it's going to be cold, the fans are going to turn out and give us a full house. And I think, as I say, we know how to play there. And it's, it's just a great, great, uh, chance for us to go through to the next round playing at home. And I guess one of the key things I wanted to know about is how do you mentally prepare for a game where you have to win and you know you have to win? Does that change your preparations mentally uh, throughout the week? Personally, I don't think so. If, if we, like For me, I'll just... Just keep on going about the same business. You know, you can't put too much pressure on the game or too much like riding on it. Obviously, it's a massive must-win game. You know, it's the end of the season if it's not, and it could be the start of a, of a great magical run again if we do win it, you know. But I don't think there's any added pressure needed. You know, everyone knows how much of a big game it is. I just think you got to go into it having the same preparation that you've had all season. I mean, you got to 
be what got you there, right? You know, so just keep on preparing like what Harry did to win the games that got us here, and go out and and try get it and try get the result for for the for the fans and for everyone else, you know. So yeah, for me personally, I don't think it's I don't think even the lads as well. I don't think anyone changes how to how to prepare for games. It's another game, but obviously they must win. But at the end of the day, it's just another game of football, ninety minutes. So I mean, you just got to do the same things. Is there any added pressure at all being uh, kind of the defending champions and, you know, having experienced all the things that come with that? I think, to be honest, throughout the whole season, we've kind of, we've accustomed uh, ourselves to that. You know, at the start of the season, I think we started off well, but then we've seen teams were, like, bringing it to us. You know, obviously, we're defending champions, as you say, and people really want that, that win on, on their cards, you know, and I think every every team showed up this season like a cup one, so I don't think, honestly, we've had an easy game all season, <laughs> I mean, so I think everyone's got used to that so far, and I mean, obviously, Columbus is going to be out because we knocked them out of the playoffs last year, they're going to be able to get us this time, and I think we'll be ready, you know, as I say, all season, teams have been looking, like, gunning for us, and it's been tough games, so... I think the lads are used to it now, and they're going to go out there and with the right attitudes, and I don't think they'll, they'll sit back and take a look if you want to take the game to Columbus and try to get, get some goals from the start. Okay. I, I know that the team is very close-knit. Uh, how difficult has it been to, to watch Connor Casey have to, to sit out uh, you know, much of the season and, and be missing out on this huge game, which I, I'm sure he wants to be part of? Yes, just talking to Connor today, actually. He's, obviously, it's devastating for him, you know, just seeing him in the gym. He's, obviously, he's, he loves his football, you know. He, he, he'd be desperate to be out there, and he's going to be in support of the lads of his club. He'd be desperate to be out there in the field, you know. I think, to be honest, he's such a massive player for us, Connor. You know, we've, we've done well without him, but I think, like, he's irreplaceable, to be honest, I think. He scores so many goals. He does so much to disrupt other teams' defences, you know. He's, obviously, him and Omar last year were probably catalysts to win us the championship, you know, so... I think, uh, yeah, he's devastated and so are the team, but, I mean, he's behind us 100%, and everyone's just looking, if more than anything, just to, to get to the final again for Connie, you know, and do it for him, sort of, and get he's getting behind the team, so we want to get behind him and really give him something to cheer about, you know, and keep him happy through the off-season, I guess. And, and as a defender, I'm sure, you know, you understand that having a great goalkeeper is really important. Uh, Pickens has been there all year, you know, has been, you know, not, not much time off in goal at all. What does it mean to, you know, as a defender to have someone so dependable behind you? I think it's invaluable, to be honest. You know, I think you count, when you count, talking about a back four, you got to count the keeper as well. So it's a back five, you know, and I think having Pickens back there, you know, obviously no one wants to make a mistake, but, you know, if someone does slip up, Pickens is going to have your back back there, you know, and I think, it works well. We got his back and he's got his as well, you know. So, as you say, he hasn't missed him in at all year. He's one of the most experienced keepers in the league and he's been there and done it all and he's won a championship last year. So, he knows what he knows what it takes, you know. He's, I've lost count any time he's come up with massive saves for us this year, you know. And, obviously, coming from the back, he's someone that can see the whole pitch and such a presence like Pickens. It's great to have him back there. And he's a great character in the change room as well to have. You know, he really gets behind everyone and he's, he's just a good lad as well to have around. So, yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, all around, I've... I think he's a great keeper, and, yeah, we're really lucky to have him. What are your expectations for the match? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, as you say, it's going to be a definitely definitely a tough game. I don't, to be honest, I don't think anyone's going to going to run away with it, you know, the two. I think the two teams are kind of similar. You know, we've got pace up front, they're strong in the middle of the park, and they've got big, good defenders at the back, you know. So, as I say, the two similar teams, and they, they will cancel each other out for the most part, and it's going to be physical, like you say. You know, I think it's just... Both teams are going to create chances because of the playoffs. You know, it's a matter of who's going to take the chances. I think at the end of the day, that's all it comes down to: who is willing to take the chances and who's going to really go there and put the extra, put that extra effort in to really get the win. You know, and as I say, as a team, we're bo- we bonded this year incredibly through some ups and downs, and I think we've all got each other's back. So Columbus are going to have to be on the game, you know, to get something away from it. But I think if we, I mean, it's going to be a great game for the spectators, and if we, if we really there, I think we can take something from it. Just want to start off talking a little bit about the the team's preparation for the game against the Rapids. Yeah, I thought the whole week was uh, real intense. Everyone, not the whole level of play, stepped up and picked up, and everyone gave a little bit more effort. And I, I think the coaching staff uh, really did a good job of providing us with uh, good scouting scouting report, and uh, hopefully it'll lead to a victory. 
Uh, can you talk a little bit about just preparing for the weather? I mean, they they got six or seven inches of snow, and is there anything special you've got you guys have done to help prepare for that kind of drastic change? Uh, I mean, there isn't really much you could do to prepare fully for that, but uh, they kind of gave us a heads up a few days ago when they found out, and they just told us to be prepared for anything. And uh, the weather hasn't been too nice uh, here, but they said we're not going to go indoors or anything. we got to tough it out and get used to all different types of uh, playing conditions. Can you talk a little bit about the, the attitude of the team kind of going into this being a, a huge game? I mean, basically the, the whole season uh, comes down to, to a single game. It's a, a must win automatically. Can you talk about just kind of the atmosphere around the, the locker room? Uh, yeah, the atmosphere is always a uh, positive, positive atmosphere. I, I think we have a great group of guys in the locker room. Uh, obviously, it's not the way we wanted to end the season in Chicago. That was a little disappointing, but um, I, I think this whole week we've, we've made it a point to get over that and kind of realize that the season's over now. It's a completely different season, and uh, we all want to approach it with a positive attitude. Can can you talk just a little bit about you know having to to go on the road kind of in a a, a must win situation for for both teams kind of what that's like being away from uh, you know Crew Stadium. Obviously, we'd rather play a home game when it comes to a do or die type game. But um, you know at this point in the season anything goes, and I think uh, going into Colorado we owe them one from last year. So uh, this game is definitely a huge game for us, and whether at home or away. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We still got to go in there and get a win. Do you have a feeling about uh, some of the players that that you play with, your teammates, that are going to have a big impact on the game? Yeah, I, I mean, our defense is always really solid with uh, Chad and Julius, Seba and Josh in the back. So I, I don't think we have to worry about that. But uh, a big piece is going to be uh, Manu out. So we got to find someone to step up and fill his role. And, and I think someone will, whether it's uh, you know Burns or Rich, you know a young guy could step up. Our, our forwards have been uh, on a hot streak lately, so I've, I've a feeling they're going to go into uh, in Colorado and have a big game for us. Can you talk a little bit just about your personal experience this year, getting uh, some time and getting uh, you know to play with the reserves and and you know kind of developing as a player over the season and just kind of what that whole experience has been like for you personally. Yeah, um, this year has been a great learning experience. I mean, unfortunately, I haven't really got to see much time with the first team, but I've learned a lot this year. You know, and our reserve team is obviously we call it the best in the league. Obviously, you know, we're eight and one, nine and one, so we're uh, we play a good uh, good style of soccer on the reserves, and we challenge and push the first team every every day at practice. And uh, it, it, it's tough, like I said, not not getting any time. You know, kind of waiting it out but it was a great it was a great year learned a lot from julius and chad in the back there and uh looking forward to next year hopefully i can provide a, a, a little more um what of what i have on the field and, and just the, the team as a whole it has a nice mix of, of veterans and youth obviously you've developed as a player and the others have what, what's that been like for the younger players you know uh having the, these great veterans to look after you Right, it's been a it's been a learning experience for all of us, all all the young guys. You know, I got some time last year with them, but this year coming in, it, it, it's been awesome to see all the young guys grow. Kind of at the beginning of the year, you know, it was a little overwhelming for everybody, and you know, it's we've all progressed and kind of formed as a team, and everyone has you know been getting great experience, and uh, it's just been a fun year overall, and, and I think everyone uh, feels the same way about that. And just kind of to, to, to finish up, uh, obviously the the whole team wants to win for for Bobby. But what has it been like uh, having him as your coach uh, throughout the last season, obviously, and then the, this season? Yeah, I have nothing but uh, good things to say for Bobby. Like he's a good coach, he's a good player, and I think he brings a hard nosed kind of attitude with us. And I have nothing but the best for Bobby because he gave me a chance uh, when no one else will. And um, so yeah, I have nothing but positive things to say about Bobby.